Hey comic fans! Welcome to another comic book review. And you're with me, Mike Spider Slayer. Guys, today we are going to be talking about Black Fantastic Four from Marvel Now, issue number two, written by Matt Fraction and drawn by Mark Bagley. So, issue number one. I liked it. I digged it. It was kind of different. Then you read FF and it was kind of like, okay, it's all right. And now this continues back over to issue number two of Fantastic Four as our uh, world's greatest family uh, is getting ready to embark on their trip. And um, what did I think about it? Uh, it's pretty cool. It's not bad. Um, here we get to see some of the interior art, see Bagley's art, see what he has to offer here. Um, here we can see a picture of Reed uh, doing the study of his arm that has this disease. And this is one of the reasons why he's going on this family trip to begin with, to find this cure, why his hand or his arm is kind of decomposing. And here is another page. Um, here you have a page of all the children of FF. And you get to see Medusa and uh, Sue Storm and uh, was a Dragon Man there. And uh, yeah, a little flying head from the kid there too. So uh, Bagman's art's pretty cool in this. His art just reminds me so much of um, Ultimate Spider-Man. It's just kind of scary. Um, but when I think of the story, uh, you know, following up from issue number one and FF, well, I thought it was pretty cool, and in some places I thought it was a little weird. Um, the art, like I said already, was pretty cool. But the first thing you see is when the book opens up, it opens up at Yancey Street, again. And this is like where the thing defends himself and this protects this street, is Yancey Street. And he yells, and he's like, and he's just like, this is my last will and testament, and I'm only going to holler it once, you know. And he's just like, no, none of you dummies going to cause his problems on Yancey Street. And he goes on with it. And uh, he's like, good night, Yancey Street, and kind of walks away. So it spends like two pages of him just yelling on Yancey Street. Artwork's good, though. I'm like, okay. And then the next thing you see is like the book goes into this depth about, you know, reads... Um, arm and what it looks like on the inside and it's like kind of got these cancerous cells and you know Scott's investigating it and he's going to sit there and go in and you know find some answers and everyone is getting ready for you know the family's departure um, and you know things can go wrong you know but they're preparing for the worst and uh you know, it's only going to be four minutes while the FF is in charge, which is not that long. And it's one year for our family uh, that goes away, and they're going for a year, and that's a long time. Um, but in this issue, you see She-Hulk, Jennifer, and you see Ben Grimm, which is the thing. And you see them, like, working out on this weird weight machine. Like, this is just weird. You know, and in this last issue, you saw them working out as well you know, with the punching bag, and I think it was an FF you saw them do that. Well, here, they have this strange relationship or competition against each other to see who's stronger. And, uh, I don't know, man. I think Ben Grimm and She-Hulk, they got something going. All of a sudden, he's, you know, they're comparing each other's weight. She's like, oh, I'm going to go after you, you. And there's, she's, like, getting ready to go on top of him, and they're playing around with each other, and he's like, oh, I got you. I'm going to bench press you. And then Reed calls them to the room, and they're like, aww. You know, I thought that was kind of weird and a little cheesy and, I don't know, necessary. I don't know, maybe it's just showing you their relationship with each other. And they're going in description about, you know, about team members in this particular room. And in this, you get to see how Johnny is just so, like, irresponsible. Like, he's a lot more irresponsible than I have ever, you know, met him before and or seen him before and he's wearing earphones and music and things like that. And he's like, Oh wait, sorry. And the group just realizes that they give him this look that he doesn't have his member that he went to go recruit. And he goes, um, have you forgotten to do something important, John? And that's what Reed says to him. And he's like, Oh man, so he like flames on and takes off 
and um, he's sitting there begging Darla, you know, you gotta, you gotta join the, you know, you gotta join the Fantastic Four. You gotta do it. Come on, it's really cool. And she's, I guess, a music singer. I guess that's what you're finding out about her. She's a musician, or she sings, or she's like Lady Gaga, or whatever she is. And she's like, I got this tour, I gotta do all these things, and I've been telling you this for like six months, Johnny. Have you not been paying attention? And obviously Johnny has a tough time paying attention. And uh, he's like, come on, he's like, it'll be awesome. He's like, dude, you'll love the Fantastic Four. Come on, let's see, come on. I mean, you picture him, and he's like this little kid, you know. And, and they go on this quick adventure to uh, six million years before the present. And he brings the little ape man back and he brings Darla with him. And they go on this little trip to jump off the ape man. And then he goes and he gets on, what is it, devil dinosaur or whatever he is. And the little ape guy starts, you know, going on top of him. And he's like, man, that's what we get for bringing him back. So you see all that going on. And uh, next thing you see is time's up and they have to escape the portal and they go together. And she's just like, wow! She's like, Bon Voyage, that's, that's a thing that people say, right? What the hell is, what is that all about? That was kind of cheesy, too. And just like that, bam, she's on the FF. She brings, you know, gives up her music career for a whole four minutes. She probably thinks nothing's going to happen. So they're getting ready to board the spaceship, and everyone's going on. And he's like, you know, here we go. It's only for four minutes, and... Obviously, Johnny Storm just taking it all lightly. And they're like, see you soon, guys. See you, you know, whatever. The kids start boarding. The family starts boarding. And they're like, all right, we're getting ready to go in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And you can see it here that they're getting ready to board. And they're getting ready to go in the, their time travel speed or whatever it is. And you can see this cool splash page of the Johnny Four or the Fantastic Four rocket taking off. Blasting off in space, and they're like, Wee -wee. they're all going, bye bye, oh, yeah, yeah. like they're going to be gone for so long, it's only four minutes. And uh, they take off, and that's it. And they're sitting there, and She Hulk's saying, Wow, there's something you don't see every day. And right away, Ant Man is sitting there looking, and they got their cool new uniforms on. And it's like, Well, folks, there it is for the next 240 seconds. We're the Fantastic Four. And he's counting down. He's like, 230, 225. And he's like, so far, so good, right? He's like, right. He goes, this is going to be great. This is going to be over before we know it. My four minutes are done. Basically, all they're doing is standing out there for four minutes, and they're going to be back in no time. And the next page we see at the end is we won't even know where they're gone. And they're all partying and having fun on their little trip. And that's the end. And everything's going great and fantastic at this point. But by the end, I know by the next issue, there's going to be hiccup in their time travel. Four minutes is going to be passed, and, uh, and there's going to be trouble for our family. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. And uh, in the next issue in FF2, uh, you know, we'll see where it goes, and then in FF3, it looks like there's some, some other weird world already, so I don't know, but at times, I mean, you gotta look at this issue as the family's just getting ready to get on their trip and and uh, and be gone already, and it's just weird to see these little, you know, scenes of Ben Grimm saying, by the Yancey Street, and Johnny Storm just being so, like, he's so gullible, so irresponsible, i just never seen him that irresponsible before, but I could be wrong because I haven't read Fantastic Four in the past. Um, I, and, and Darla, that whole thing is just just weird. Like, hey, join Fantastic Four. And she's like, okay, I guess it's okay for four minutes. And she's taking it very lightly because, again, it is only four minutes. Um, okay, so after the second issue, it's kind of almost the same thing. We're waiting for the trip to go on, the family to go on this trip, and that's that. So... I liked it. I thought it was good. It's for me. It was just above average. It was a three and a half out of five stars. Now is where the story really begins when they start on their adventures, and then we start seeing the FF and seeing what goes on with them past their four minute time mark. So for me, we got the group. We got the four of them together. The, the FF people. We got everybody else together on their trip, and 
Again, we're going to see where it goes from here. This is where the adventures begin. Three and a half out of five stars. Um, I'm going to see where this goes. Again, if it drops down, that's when I drop the book as well. So, guys, tell me what you thought of Fantastic Four uh, issue number two. And if you are continuing to get the story, I guess that's going to be crossing over FF number two. And that's all I have from you guys. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching uh, Comic Book Corner. And if you get time, check out Comic Related and go on to Dark Avenger Inc. Go on to Dark Avenger Inc. on, on Facebook and check out Comic Frontline as well. Lots of cool stuff to check out, guys. So as always, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you real soon, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Bye.